Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Power Attack. My name's Seth and today I'm going to be playing more Undertale. Oh, oh no. Hold please. Oh no. Uh, uh. Oh, that's human? Could it be? My one true love? I'm sorry, I realized that I uh, forgot to unmute Undertale because it's very loud in my ears when I'm setting up. You look bored, darling. I want this to be a stellar performance, so if you don't give it your all, then I'll skip ahead for the audience's sake. Perform? Oh, uh, I tried to record earlier and things were being funny, so I had to kill the game. Uh, understood, let's knock them dead. <sighs> Metaton's gonna sing here, and I'm not gonna sing because it's midnight and I'm already concerned that I'll be keeping people awake with the voices that have to go into this game. So... And there was a shooting. So sad. So sad that you're going to the dungeon. Well, toodles. Oh no, whatever shall I do? My love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. I think I said that right. Oh heavens, have mercy, the horrible colored tile maze. Each colored tile has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles? Well... Actually, wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great, then I won't waste your time repeating them. Oh, and you'd better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... Oh. You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire! Ah ha 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 ha! My poor love, I'm so filled with grief, I can't stop laughing! Good luck, darling. It's slowing me... All the way. Am I stuck? Yeah, I'm, I'm stuck. I can't go anywhere. What? Oh, I'm so sorry. It looks like you're out of time. Here come the flames, darling. They're closing in. Getting closer. Oh my. Oh my. Any minute now. <clears throat> Watch out, I'll save you. I'm hacking into the firewall right now. Oh my god, there's hacking puns. Oh no, how could this happen? I'm completely shocked. Boiled again by the brilliant Dr. Alphys. What? That's right. Come on, Metaton, give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. What did he say? Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle? Over? Alfie Starling, what are you talking about? 
Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound, and you have to fight a monster. Well, darling, that monster is me. Come at me, bro. His metal body still renders him invulnerable to attack. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. There's a phone. Is that your phone? You better answer it. Hey, this seems bad, but don't worry. There's at least one thing I installed. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to the phone's act menu and press it. Okay. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Now press Z! Zap, 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 zap. How many times do I have to press Z? Oh! Oh! You've defeated me! Uh, how can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. Bye. Looks like you beat him. He did a really great job there. All thanks to you. Oh. All thanks to you. What? Oh no, I mean, uh, you were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but can I tell you something? I hate myself. I didn't really... I didn't really like myself very much. I hate you too, but that's not the point. For a long time, I felt like a total screw-up, because I am. Like, I couldn't do anything without... without ending up letting everyone down. But guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're, we're almost to the core. It's just past MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Yeah. Totally not, uh... Totally not playing things off, right? Hey, it's you again! Business is excellent here, these two fellows bought all my ice cream. I actually sold out of everything. Sorry, wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Thanks, guy. Oh, hey. You're, like, taking a rain check on the killing you thing? Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? He seems happy. Good guy. Good guy, I'm glad. Hey, go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. Hey, look, it's a Sans. Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah, sure, dude. Great, thanks for treating me. What? I didn't say that I was... Over here, I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, the journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, Butto. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Uh, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. There are plants. Hey. Let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in the Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. It's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking out. Knocking them out. Knocking them out. Hey. Like usual. I knock on the door and say knock-knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? So, naturally, I respond, Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes is a very bad joke. Bum tss! Then she just howls with laughter. Like, it's the best joke she's ever heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks back and says, Knock knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not see. Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. 
eventually I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. And I did again and again, and it's a thing now. Calling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though, and as she wasn't laughing very much, I asked her what was up, and she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her? You know what would have happened if I hadn't said anything? Buddy? Is that a promise? You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? <laughs> a mean mug in sands. <laughs> well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Someone really cares about you. Old. As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation, but I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off the spikus. <clears throat> Originally, we dug maze and little puzzles in order to foil human attacks, but now building things winding and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go uh, two feet without being up to your armpits and puzzles. I work at the core, the inside of a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. <laughs> That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, we couldn't stand living at home anymore. So we ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> That's not funny. You're right. That's not funny. Well, you'll have to make a reservation table to eat here. Uh, and you need to reserve other stuff too. Save point! Uh, and stuff. I still need to go see... I can't read what the thing says. Disappointing. Uh, hey look, it's vendors. Uh, Braddy and Caddy, they're best friends. They also laugh. Repeatedly. It's all totally wicked expensive stuff, but they totally sell it for wicked cheap. Totally wicked buy all of it. Uh, where does anyone get food or guns? Or you find it all in the garbage. Really good garbage. Water bowl. I found a gun in a dumpster. Fuck. He's the robot husband. They're already married to him, he just doesn't know it yet. Alfie's built Metaton. But he acts like it was his idea. And and they acted like they're old friends, so Metaton so Alfie's put a soul in Metaton. Uh... 
What? Okay, so she like bugged out. Alfie's used to hang out with these two and now she's gone. Uh a robot with a soul, that's like so, yeah, so totally like took a robot and put it in Metaton. Or took took a soul and put it in Metaton. Uh, he's a total goober. He's a fuzzy goofball. They say he's nice and that they love him. They're so hyped for the destruction of humanity. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, I guess I gotta see if you have stuff to sell. You're selling really expensive stuff. I can't get behind that. Actually, wait, could I afford... I could. Yeah, let's get the mystery key. Nice. Wait, what's the, the relaxing atmosphere of this hotel? It fills you with determination. Uh, oh, isn't there a thing in here? Yeah, why is this person trying to sell me something? This is a hamburger restaurant. I'm just trying to survive. Uh, I can't afford anything now. Damn. Yeah, sure, I'll get that so I can have a hand, uh, a healing item. This leads to the core. Ring. Huh? Who are they? No way else is supposed to be here. Oh well, we can't worry about that now. Um. Okay. I don't remember who they are, actually. Ready? This is it. Take the elevator up to the top. What? The elevator shouldn't be working. Uh, well then, go to the right and keep heading up. Okay, now let's... Alright, now just keep heading up. Uh, that pit isn't on my map. Forget it, let's try the left side. Okay, we should be able to make it through here. Watch out! A magic pops out of its hat. Magical mercenary only says magic words. Focus, focus! Uh, it appears at me with strange eyes. Interrupts you by chattering to itself. My defense dropped. Abracadabra! Oh, because it confused me, my controls are, like, reversed. I still feel confused. The other one from Chase Orb was weakened by your player. Alakazam! Ow. Believes you're a fellow wizard. You think of palm and sunshine. Your confusion of ace. You think of your... I wanna see, well, I'm getting the shit kicked out of me. Okay, so what happens if I stare at the other one? It's weakened by your glare. Focus, focus! Uh. Okay, so I guess that's all I can do. I. I... Okay. What did it say? It started to use like regular words. I'm gonna die to this thing, but it's worth it because I want to see what's like happening. Tinkle tinkle boy. That's not. Those aren't magic words. Okay, fine. That was close. Why are there so many monsters here? I mean, it's no problem, right? You just gotta keep heading forward. <laughs> and then she looked sad and down. Okay, well, let's go save. Um, but in the meantime, if you like what you've seen, please consider liking the video, commenting on the video, and subscribing to the channel. My name's Seth, you can watch me play Undertale on Power Attack, and I'll see you next time. Uh, yeah, later.